Hello artists! Today we are going to be painting a rainbow and we're going to be using three colors to paint our rainbow and I bet you know what they are. They're those special colors, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And we're going to be using paint today. If you don't have paint at home, that's okay. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have to add color. And the primary colors are pretty neat because they're in the color wheel. We have red, we have yellow, and we have blue. And we're going to be mixing the colors orange, green, and purple today to make our rainbow. All right, so to get started, we're going to need a brush, our paint palette. I like to use a little paper towel to blot my brush. And then a little bit of water. I only use about two fingers high of water on the side of my cup. So that way we don't spill. All right, so let's get started. We are gonna paint, we're gonna get our brush a little bit wet and then blot it. And I'm gonna actually start with yellow so that our yellow stays nice and clean. And I'm gonna make a big yellow arc. And that is the shape of a rainbow. It's an arc. Dip it in again. Give me more paint. Here's my yellow. And I'm going, we always want to rinse our brush when we change color. So I'm going to rinse my brush in the water. I'm kind of, I call it tickling the bottom of the bowl or whatever I have my water in. And then we don't tap our brush. We always gently wipe it on the side. That way the paint doesn't splatter all over. Blot your brush a little bit. Now we're going to make, use the red. And we're going to leave a little bit of a space, like a finger space, and we're going to go right around. See how I'm making that arc? And I'm not scrubbing my brush, I'm just kind of dragging my brush around. That spreading out my red. Now I'm going to rinse my brush one more time. Tickle the bottom. Gently wipe the side. And now I'm going to go in between my red and my yellow and just see what happens. What happens there? Ooh, look at that. Can you see that? It's kind of an orange color, isn't it? Yeah, and we can do this even better on our plate. Gently wipe. I'm going to take a little bit of my yellow and then just a tiny bit. I'm always going to dip from the side and look what happens. It's kind of magical. Do you see orange forming? Look at that. That's that orange. Okay, now I'm going to take that orange and just kind of brush in between and we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at that. There's my orange. That looks pretty. Rinse your brush again. Gently blot. Now we're going to take a little blue and go in between. That arc should Rinse your brush again, dab it, and see what happens if you mix these two. Ooh, I see green forming. All right, let's try it again on our plate. A little bit of yellow, tiny bit of blue because blue is really strong. And there is my green. Look at that. Depending on how much blue you have and how much yellow, your green is going to look different. It might be really limey green. It might be kind of a dark green. So here is my green in between my blue and my yellow. And that's green. Rinse your brush. Now we're going to do the last color, which is, in the rainbow, purple. Sometimes it's called um, violet. 
and then sometimes there's a color in between called indigo. So now we're going to take our blue, actually, nope, I'm not going to use blue, sorry about that. Blot my brush, I'm going to take a little bit of red off the side, put it in between, and take just a tiny bit of blue because blue is so strong, and do a little mixing. It's kind of hard to see the color, but it is purple. There it is. And look at it. I made a color wheel. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And those are the colors of our rainbow. So now I'm going to take my purple and paint my last color in that arc. And there is my rainbow. All done. I hope you had fun color mixing. It's really cool. You feel kind of like a magician when you mix colors. Have a great day.